<laughs> I'd much, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with the Ridley. That's fun. Yeah, uh, you know, he actually, okay. His doubles Ridley actually isn't bad. It, uh, um, Nixie's doubles Isabel. Uh, wait, did he pick Isabel? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. Oh my if you're hyped for God. the nuttiest Falcon going oh Isabel. Oh, my God. <laughs> Immediately nares Nick. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay. Oh god, what's happening, bro? Is this a sub goal that I don't know about? Yeah. <laughs> um, definitely, I feel like this is because they have a set to lose. Um, I, I, I just hope they don't win. <laughs> that, that's just my If there's goal. any justice in the world, this Isabel will soon turn into a Falcon oh. and fairing Pikachu right there. That is a lot of percentile Joe Pwn. No one else really taking <laughs> Yo, that much. This is, so yeah. this is low key very toxic. That jab is pretty <laughs> good in doubles because it literally keeps them still. Like, completely stationary for someone to follow up. Yeah. And that killing so early. <laughs> this Dixie Isabel new no. main. And we got the match. Oh, it's yeah. abandoned SD. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, okay, so okay, so funny enough, I feel like Ridley in doubles isn't that bad. It's similar to DK in a sense, where he, even though he's big, he does have very big buttons. Like the Nair is a very good crowd control tool and a very good um, button to keep people off off the stage. And a good team combo button yeah. too. Super uh, horizontal. Not to mention the bear is just so strong. Ridley's like Tipper Bear. I don't know if it's actually the Tipper, but I think it's a sweet spot. It's very strong. And yeah, Ridley, I think all heavies just usually get a buff in a double setting. It's so vital to have like a really strong and have a uh, person who can live long. That means yeah. it's really not that heavy for his size. Yeah, because the whole thing with heavies and, and singles is that like they're they're big. <laughs> they're big and, 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 and they could be something to be edge guarded, so. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he was trying to hit Joe Punk. <laughs> hey, and W still had three socks, by the way. I think you should note that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and this is an even stock count right here, but some unfortunate deaths for Nixie. Like, SD, and they got up smashed very low percent by MTW. This is rough, but I mean, definitely still pretty even. Not too much after that F throw. Still not too bad. Wait. They're winning. No, no. Okay. I, he has two stocks. Sorry. I thought okay, yeah. I thought Dan the Man had one stock for a second. Yeah, so if, if they could take Pikachu's stock. See, like, Dan, uh, excuse me. Jopon's not that far up in stops. I mean, excuse me, percentage. Ooh, but Dan the Man now taking a lot more. And MGW's been doing a really good job of surviving. If he didn't kill yeah. his teammate, he'd be playing pretty much perfect. Yeah. That platform, so important right there. And that's, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, that's, that's a dead Ridley, I'm pretty sure. Maybe MGW could have oh. air dodged in time, but I think he was trying to hit him. Oh, just you just you just forward tilt that. Yeah, dropping oh, okay. that punish, killing Pikachu finally, but living to 164 as Pikachu, you're gonna take that. Yeah, and um, yeah, and Nixie, Nixie is on a thread right now. <laughs> oh, oh, he lost his stuff. Yeah, uh, so I believe Pikachu's a B clipped the jump of Ridley, and that was slash jump, and I don't think MGW realized that and waited too long to up B, so. A uh, bit of an unfortunate SD for MGW. Nixie at 138%. Joe Pun still at two stocks. Or Dan the Man still at two stocks. And this is looking pretty yeah, impossible, yeah. especially considering this is Nixie's Isabel, not his Falcon. <laughs> yeah, they deserve all of this. They, they deserve every. Oh my god. Oh no. Get, just get this Isabel off the screen. Oh. Oh my god, just die. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> now that's synergy. That you know, is team synergy. I, I, the bad thing about that is, like, if they didn't kill each other so many times, it wouldn't have been that bad. It really wouldn't have. Yeah, I mean, there was just a lot. I mean, and also, um, MGW dying at like 50 on Ridley on his last yeah. stock. There's a lot of unfortunate things. It's definitely possible for them yeah, to win. That's with actually this comp. That, Yeah, it's actually terrible that mm -hmm. that happened. But um, thankfully, Dan the Man and Joe Pond got them the hell out of here. So yeah. we'll see if they're sticking with it. They might go other like secondaries. Uh, we'll have to see. I hope we don't see the next scene us. That's I don't I don't want to see that. Yeah. I don't know if they'll. Have you ever heard the legend of the Nessie? I'm not. I don't, I don't think I wanna. <laughs> I don't know if that's. Uh, um. But yeah. Um. Oof. Uh, uh, I'm glad.
I don't want to see Dark Samus. Yeah. Um, also, this match arena has been going up. We're now at oh, just as I said, wow, that. We're wow, at wow, 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 twenty-seven wow, wow, wow. sixty. Let's get let's get thirty before doubles ends. It might end soon. So let's let's with the way they're playing right now. Oh, looks like they're going actual characters. What is no Nixie wait, what is Falcon? Okay. MGW okay. Robin. MGW yeah. Robin's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's an actual character. It's yeah. definitely a way more of a real character of his than the Ridley. I feel like. Um, yeah. I feel like at this point, really did bad, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like at this point, this is like a secondary. But I don't know why he's going Robin now, but we'll see. I think we just want to try going with secondaries because they have a set to work with. That being said, Robin Pikachu seems terrible. Uh, seems like actually abysmal, so we'll have to see. Oh, 2780 right now. Almost at 28. Thank you, everyone who's uh, Masterinoing. This is record breaking. You know, I haven't seen it this high, and we haven't even started single. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is crazy, actually. Yeah, um, Deadman actually needs to watch out because he keeps. he's The way the angles he's going at Falcon Deep um, can actually lend him to get reversal like, pretty quickly. Um, right now, Jopon's doing a really good job at keeping MGW at bay. Right there. Good stuff from Joe Pone with that double, uh, double, um, T draw right there. I mean, wow. just so good at covering ledge. That's so unfortunate. And this is concerning, uh, okay. because this is Nixie's Falcon, you know, and these are like pretty real characters, and they're kind of getting like pretty overwhelmed right now. Mm -hmm. So even if they do like lose this game and then go through like both mains, I can see them just losing the set again the way Joe Pone and Dan the Man are playing. Up throw gonna take it on the platform. Really good stuff from Joe Pone. You wow. really seen close stocks. Yeah, and and Nixie trying to down there Joe Pone. That forward air safe. Pikachu's? Um DK's. Oh. Uh, I think if you like fade back with it, oh, okay. it, it can be pretty safe. Yeah. Unless you have like, I don't know what out shield options that big horizontally <laughs> that it can hit yeah. it. Okay, but um, yeah, I mean, good stuff. Jopon still holding on to that stock until uh, oh oh, MVC has beat off that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, now actually, um, Nick and MBW are in a very good position. Yeah, it, Dan the Man's gonna have to hold on to the stock, but they're two v one in Jopon right now. Which is pretty good against Pikachu because normally it's so and tough. Nasfar that was a great, great save by Joe Pond. Yeah, Nasfar is crazy because not only is it such a good move on its own if you land it, but it can just so easily give your teammate a plenty of time what? to react. Is but MGW okay? Yeah, <laughs> that was not a very smart thunder, but oh, Joe Pond, that's interesting. Wow, he that stalled. A, yeah. He stalled three times. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know if he had enough height to do that. That was good stuff by Joe Pond. Yeah, that was really clever stuff. Okay, now MBW off stage. Let's see if he can recover and. Ooh. Dan the man reading, like fading back. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a good cover by Joe Pond because that could have got reversed really easily. Big punish. Oh, and out, out of the book. book and a back throw. And now a stock lead right here. Not too much percent either. Like, it, um, at least on Dan the man. 60 is not too rough for DK. You're kind of used to taking that. Yeah, it's just he, ha he has to watch out for Falcon Up Smash because that move that doesn't care. Mm -hmm. That that move can just eliminate your stock, and you'll, you're gonna wonder why. But another sa sandwiching by Dan the Man and Joe Pond. And I, I don't think I've seen uh, DK's up beat get spiked too much, which is crazy because it's so susceptible to Falcon Dare. But Dan the Man's been so tricky with it. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be a reverse uh, uh, punch, if I'm. Thing. But what oh, happened? what happened? That only that only took Pikachu's stock. Yeah, the they were both at too low percent. Honestly, it was really good damage though. It's not like the worst thing ever. But now it's so important for Dan the Man to live. And look at that! That was such a good usage of. And and he tech that. Yeah. Oh, that. Up okay. Oh, I feel like that was a back air. Yeah. So M MGW with the new lease on life. Yeah, you cannot drop that. And no, that. Yo, that beat out Falcon's up beat. Dan the Man like is at 174, but I feel like he's not playing like it. I feel like he's just he's showing pretty little fear right now. Finally oh, dying. Oh no! This uh, <laughs> that was a really tough matchup, but I mean Nick C, he's kind of a beast. You know? <laughs> yeah, this is bad. <laughs> okay, good stuff by. Oh, oh that was a smash! <laughs> My Pikachu would have killed him. Oh no! Oh no! Don't. Okay. Oh yeah, Joe Pond's being very patient right now. Okay, Jazz Tech not taking it. Yeah, 
That taking it? No, no. yeah, I'm surprised it sparked even. Oh, Mixie stalling a bit. Getting that down air now. Joe Pon has to land. Yeah, going for these up. Yeah, that dash attack. Yeah, he's trying to take that stuff. Yeah, you cannot give dash attacks like that in this percent. Mixie's kind of just holding shield right now, but I wonder yeah, if an up throw will kill. Yeah, right now he just doesn't want to get dash attacked right now. Back yeah, air. Going for that nair. Ooh, oh, I like that, that mix up. That forward tilt. No, oh, what is that? Yo. Ooh. Yeah, that was Joe Pone right there. Kind of banning it all on Nixie jumping, like, forward. Oh. Kind of only covered really one option and would get you killed anyway. So. Yeah, he, I guess he tried to cover, like, the jo the short hop nair option. Yeah. But, like, even that, I feel like the short hop nair would have beat that. But, like, yeah, that actually also might have been a miss. But maybe, maybe he tried to... Uh, maybe, yeah. Um... I feel like Joe Pone was like way more nervous in that one v one. You know, mm -hmm. kind of just like playing. Clearly showed some fear against Nick C, and I mm -hmm. feel like that's all Nick C wants is your opponent to be scared of him. Oh yeah, because he, he's just gonna run at you, press an air, and if you flinch, it's like okay, it's like <laughs> you're off stage. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, Nick C kind of like showing his strength as a player right there. He's so good at like being able to like even if it doesn't show in the percents, he's able to just like get in your opponent's head um, and like show like mm. no no fear at all um, yeah and, and mgw man um the his projectile game with robin i feel like was the main reason that dan the man had to start moving right because mgw just stopped interacting with him he just started throwing throwing thunder at him from across the stage and dan the man had to come out the corner after that and that's something that no other team really has made them do is like make yeah. them break the Team composition, like break yeah. the formation. No, it, it really seems like they can't do this stuff they've been doing against everyone else against this team. Oh no! <laughs> the Dark Samus coming out. Bars's greatest fears came true. God, <laughs> this is so this is so toxic. He's, he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna ruin, ruin this up for me. Yeah, he's probably um the Dark Samus probably gonna do pretty similar stuff to what. The Robin was doing, but honestly, with an even better character, I think Samus is so strong personally. Um, yeah. So it's it's really tough. Also, that charge shot. Um, he just oh, Joe Pone is <laughs> oh, but not <laughs> enough. Yo, yo. That was such a good save though. But I mean, Nixie was on point with it. This is such a terrible start. Yeah, and I, I, MW didn't really do anything. That's Doc. Like it's not even like he provided support. He kind of Nick kind of just. Died. Yeah, yeah. And they kind of just died, but like, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was just a uh, Pikachu Gimping Falcon. Seen a thousand times. Ooh. Only had, you know, I think he was literally at zero when he got back throwed right there. So jumping a bit too far. But um, someone was going to say, Samus's charge shot is so good because every single charge of it has its own purpose. Like, you can either do it low charge and it hits you with so much stun. You can combo off it. <gasps> Did you? Oh, the my angel God. Part? That was such <laughs> good awareness by MGW. <laughs> Yo. That was the hypest thing Dark Samus yeah, has ever done. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, and, and MW's laying back and charging. He, he's fishing for a lot of these charge shot confirms in the background. That's what he's really going for. Yeah, and I think the way Nixie's playing, that's honestly wow. fine. Because I feel like Nixie's very content at like kind of being here in both of them and just like throwing out Falcon hit boxes as long as he has MGW in the back to prevent like Joe Pone and um, Dan the Man from going forward at all. Ooh, Dan the Man almost picking it up off that. He's been so good at that, but yeah, I feel like he's not gotten it that much this set. Yeah, and we're actually seeing a lot more of these up Bs right now coming out from Falcon, right? I feel like just to get out of these some of these such sandwich situations. Ooh, and a uh, bit of an SD there from Nick C. They still have such a sizable lead. Um, and, like, I don't see Dark Sam is dying that soon. Oh, know? yeah. So at 82, like, Especially with the way MBW. Yeah, playing. exactly. Yeah, and he's just, throw he's just throwing out charge shots, right? And while fa while you see Nick C throwing out a bunch of hitboxes, and you're just like, okay, I have this, some type of breathing room, get hit with, a, like, a semi-charged charge shot for no reason. Okay, and right here, you really, you're gonna need to see Dan the Man and Joe Pone get the stuff that they were gaining against everyone else. Get like the one early kill to kind of break this up. Or honestly, if they take both their stocks before losing one, they can get a 2v1 at high percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, they, if they could take Nick's stock, most importantly. Oh, trying to right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, he, he was reaching a little bit with that Nair. And this is looking really rough. You're wow. at, oh, trying to jab each other and failing and dying. <laughs> Not the uh, best moment we've ever seen from the MGW Dark Samus. Going deep off stage. Yeah. Covering that roll, and that is it. Yes. <laughs> I, I had to Yo. wait till I heard Helper go on yeah. to you now. Yes, that is it. Like I, wow. I, um, that was... I'm, I'm so mad. Like... I... I am sad for everybody mm -hmm. that MGW Samus won a doubles match on stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's especially the one that won the tournament. Um... Yeah. Can, we say, also, can we shout out this overlay uh, happening right now? This is such a nice doubles overlay. Oh, yeah, it's a pretty cool overlay. Yeah. Can we talk, talk about the Kirby music, the Kirby 64 music? Can we talk about that? Great, great music. Yeah. Um, but that was your doubles tournament. I think that was a pretty exciting uh, doubles tournament, you know? Yeah. You would think doubles at a monthly, you just see all the players who normally win just be in the grand finals. Mm -hmm. And we saw, first of all, we get to see Nixie finally. It's been a very long time since he's come to a, a offline tournament. And in yeah. addition, we saw just such a cool run from Joe Pone and Dan the Man. Oh, 100%. Just, I love the way they play doubles and the way they like, think about doubles. It, it's really refreshing to see because it like, makes me feel like there's so much more of a meta that's unexplored in this, in this uh, yeah. setting. And you know, you know, I, I joked a lot about MGW's Dark Samus, but it, it's one of those things where it plays very similar to the Robin, mm -hmm. where it's just like you keep your opponent at bay. And I feel like they might have seen the strategy that Joe Pawn and Dan were doing, and he was just like, okay, I mean, like, Robin and Samus throw projectiles, smoke you out of your corner, and go from there. But, um, yeah, great tournament. I mean, great doubles all, all around. Yeah, and you just, you got to stick along, because now you're going to see singles.